Hello gamers and thank you for watching. Here are a few tips that will make your life easier in the Siege of Paris DLC. In case you're playing it for the one hand swords, there is a place near your hidden dock, the place where you start a campaign in Francia in which you can find the Egbert sword. And I left a link in the description with how you can get all the one hand swords in the game. For this first sword we need to travel to Provinis. Here we pick up a map and then we travel a bit more to the north and we will take it from a thief from there, in a place called Bilhot. One good place to visit and find a lot of silver, more than 1500, it's in the north, in Amiennois in Murmiliacum. We see now the location on the map and we have in the description a link with all the chests in the area. There is also an area at the border between Amiens and Melunois where there is a lot of iron lying around so you can easily stock up an iron to upgrade your gear. One big problem in this DLC are the rats, especially if you're at a lower level in the game. To avoid the rats just drop a dead body and they will go for it and leave you alone. It's more like a magic trick, it works wonders and it makes your life easier. In order to get the Reaper armor you will have to complete the rebel missions and earn coins depending on how well you did. As you progress you can upgrade the number of people your team has, so in the beginning when you have a team of 2 people it's actually better to do solo missions. In the end when I upgraded my team and had 5 members in my team if I kept all alive at the end of the raid I managed to make more than 720 coins. Whereas if I were to play a solo mission I would only be able to make 460. So my advice is to upgrade your team to 5 members and my strategy was to select ranged attacks and kill my enemies from a distance using poison arrows and explosive arrows. This way you will make easier money and buy faster the reaper armor. Link in the description with how you can get the armor as well. Also if you're a fan of one hand swords you will want to get the Joyo sword, this can be found in Paris in Lutetia Bureau. Before going here you need to travel to 3 other locations on the map and get a key from each one. These locations are Jisakum Ruins, Champio Ruins and Diodorum Ruins. If you completed all the quests, mission, mysteries and artifacts in the game you still have one left. It's called Pat the Cat and for this you need to pat all the 4 cats in Evro. Also you'll find the link in the description with how you can do this. Hope this video worked well for you, thank you very much for watching the entire video, don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe and I wish you all the best, goodbye.